He used to be the, the host of the Underground back in the day, among other things that he used to do for the radio station. It's Mr. Jay Wagner. Hey, guys. Jay, how are you doing, my friend? Good to hear. Happy oh birthday. God, I'm- Blessed and better than I deserve to be, as, as my good friend Father Joe Kevlich would say. <laughs> yes, happy, uh, happy uh, birthday! I, I mean, since you uh, speaking of um, you know uh, birthdays and, and yes FM and everything like that, of course I sent you that crazy party crashers picture yesterday. So I I saw that 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 took me way back. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've hit the point now. I think I'm aging in reverse. So I decided I didn't want to get any any older. So every year I'm taking a year off. Now. Now, good. So. That's a good plan. I like that. Well, yeah. now, now, since you're a new dad, what's what's the one thing you've learned about fatherhood so far, the piece of information that you have to pass on to everybody? Oh, what, 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 the one thing? You haven't uh, learned anything yet? You have not learned anything yet, Jay? <laughs> oh, I've, I've uh, that, that, you know what? You want to talk about a great exercise in powerlessness and giving it to God. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, a, have a four and a half month old at home at my age. <laughs> Let's just let's just say I'm still in my 40s, but uh, not not many more years I'm going to be. So my wife and I, neither of us are 20. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm sure you'll be learning, but I'm also sure that's a great great joy too. So we're we're happy for. Oh, it's it's amazing. You know, God it God is incredible. He he he. he, he blessed us so abundantly and and uh, you know and just with this little baby girl that he's entrusted to us and and uh, you know there's there's a lot of pressure as, as a dad to a daughter um mm-hmm. you know yeah. <laughs> not that i'm promoting uh, uh the nra or anything but uh, you know i'm already practicing <laughs> with my gun which is the boys start showing up <laughs> and saying nope <laughs> okay well fair warning for anyone that uh, might be visiting jay's house in the next 15 exactly 15 years or so you know my first one of my first memories of really loving time with you and Jay has had so many great so many great moments with all of us here at Yes FM but very early on um, I think it was maybe our third maybe the third year that I was here uh, we were walking through all of our sites and we were praying so we walked to each of the tower sites we walked to Lima I remember um, we that walked to Twitter, yeah. we walked to so we had listeners helping us but we literally walked from Toledo all the way to Lima, Wasion, Fremont. It was fabulous. And Jay and I walked a number of miles together. And I still remember some of those conversations that you and I had, and that was just tremendous. That's where uh, I, really I, I, I When I was thinking about some of my favorite memories at SFM, I, seriously, that came up. That came up right in the front. Just, uh, you know, we had that time together, Todd, to get to really know each other and, and, and bear our hearts. And, and that was incredible. And to see, you know, to see some of the things that came about of that, I think another day I was walking with, a, with another local pastor, and uh, we were over on the east side, and he walks up to, he walks up to this uh, abandoned retail store. I think it was an old Frank's Nursery and Craft. And, and, and he, he goes, you know, I really feel the need that we are, we are going to pray over this building, and God is going to use this building. So we walked up, we prayed over this building and and uh, it was pastor keith step and and i i remember like, like it was yesterday and i'm like yeah that was really cool drove drove by the thing a year later and it was a church <laughs> that is awesome that sounds like something keith would have done yes <laughs> and i, I that is i'm awesome. like wow i mean that was amazing <laughs> but, uh, you know yes fm is such an amazing powerful ministry and, and my my wife and i don't live in the area anymore we live in west michigan now about three hours from uh uh home uh, the toledo area and I'm I'm, I'm not going to rip on uh, Christian radio up here, but there is no Yes FM, and uh, you know, and you've heard you've heard that before that I've moved away and it's nothing great. But now now I'm experiencing it firsthand, and I told April that (laughs) I'm listening to a lot of CDs because if I want, you know, some some a little harder music than what I want. and uh, yeah, it, my only option up here, and, and our daughter's only option, are, are going to be CDs. And uh, my wife Karis told me since I got up here, she said, y- "Your job, you got to get with people, and you need to get a Yes FM type station up here." And I go, "All right, well, <laughs> God will have to lead us in that." Maybe there'll be the next place we branch off to. We'll have we'll get another right. frequency up there in that area. That'd be amazing. <laughs> we are talking to Jay Wagner, who was the host of the Underground and uh, one of the best party crashers we ever had, and just all sorts of fun things and uh, we're going to be hanging out with Jay uh, throughout the rest of this hour all right Jay hang out with us and uh, we'll talk to you in just a few more minutes Uh, we'll we'll talk about party crashers and the underground and anything else that we can think of 
Sounds great, guys. In studio, Todd Hostetler and myself. Hi, I'm April. But of more importance. Yes, yes. He's going to laugh. Uh, one of our DJs from yesteryear, we still claim him, we still love him, is Mr. Jay Wagner. And, and Jay, thank you so much for hanging out with us once again this afternoon. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for asking. I, I wish I could be there live in, in studio with you guys. And, and, you we'll know, wait. The, Go ahead. The, Come. We'll wait. <laughs> Let's see. I'll be there in three hours. All right, good. Uh, 8.30. We'll be here. We're, we're stretching out Sheriff on tonight. We're going to go all night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find Rob Kelly. We're going to show up, and we're going to put him in his wrestler uniform, and uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some wrestling moves. Yeah, Rob was actually on in the noon hour yesterday, and one of the things that he brought up was, was the wrestling. But speaking of you and Rob, okay, <laughs> we're going to throw you under the bus. You and Rob had many an adventure here, and I remember a particular incident where you and Rob were out driving about and, and something about getting involved in some sort of a, a chase, a police chase yeah, or something? We, uh, absolutely. We, we, we were, I think we were down Lima area or something like that, and, and, and um, we, we were doing a party crasher, and I think and it just ended or we were driving around. We had a little time before we got to the party crashers, and, and uh, all of a sudden, Rob and I got caught up in this police chase, and, and there's this car that blows past us, and then all of a sudden we're surrounded by four or five state troopers. And so Rob and I decide we're, you know, probably not the best decision. We decided we're going to follow them. So, <laughs> we, uh, which we do not recommend. And, yeah, uh, thank and you. I we were doing call-ins during this. And, yes, and, you were. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we, ne- we never found out exactly what the police chase was over, but it's probably one of those, the, the five most exhilarating moments of my life. <laughs> so, what was prison like? What was prison life like for you? It, uh, you know, it was very brief, and uh, luckily, I had a, luckily, I had a good lawyer. You know. <laughs> but I was, I was talking to April a little bit about, you know, we did those party crashers way back when the mill was still in existence. Yeah. We did the uh, the Friday night house parties and, right. and things like that. And thinking of the impact that that uh, that Yes FM had in, in young lives back then. I was talking to April about this off air that, you know, I'm, I'm Facebook friends with a, with a bunch of, you know, I think kids uh, that used to come to the, 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 uh, the, Friday, night, uh, the Friday night house parties. Hmm. And, yeah, to see what God has done in their lives and, and to see the impact that Yes FM had, had in their lives. And these kids are, you know, they have kids now. And they're, they're in their, <laughs> their, their mid-20s, some, some are in their early 30s. And, and just to see the legacy that, that, that has grown through YesFM through these kids. And, and like I said, I live in an area now where we don't have a YesFM, and, and, you know, it's seriously lacking. And, you know, my wife and I moved to West Michigan about four years ago and, 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 and you know, still support YesFM. Even though we can't hear it, you know, I'll bring it up on my, my, my smartphone and listen to it, and we'll listen to it online, and, and uh, you know, we still get our fix. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad to be able to get the fix. I mean, it's been amazing. I mean, since since your days and stuff now, we're online, we're on the phone apps and iHeartRadio and all this stuff. It's it's just crazy. So um, happy to be able to, to have you still be able to listen um, where you're at. Um, Jay, you know, you're talking about party crashers and, and just some of the amazing things, you know, that you had been involved with. Um, and, you know, you're talking about relationships and everything. The, the one thing, you know, when we talk about you, Jay, and just, just the the life and the fun that you bring and and some of the crazy things that you got to do one of those things and it's it's we'll warn you now it's in the yearbook <laughs> it's crazy cupid oh, for, for our listeners who don't know what crazy cupid was can, can you kind of explain that to to them in in what you <laughs> looked like yeah you're still the pictures are still adorable jay <laughs> oh my gosh yeah uh, crazy cupid we did every valentine's day and and uh, uh, myself and several uh, i know chad o did it i i know uh, ben franklin did it a bunch of other djs jeff did we it would too, go out he? and yeah. Uh, yeah. dress up as, as cupid and uh uh let me tell you i'm not someone that you want to see in tights and uh <laughs> and, 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 and we did it but you know we would go out and just share the love of jesus christ and we go to businesses and schools and, and things like that but uh uh I got to be honest, I, I still have the tights that I wore <laughs> for that. We, Why, we, we Jay? We twice since we got up here. We rented a house and we just bought a house a couple years ago. How do you and justify it? I'm like, how do you, you just, never know. How do you, you justify to your wife for that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just, just, just the fun we had with things like that, it reminds me of a story. I think I was out with... Uh, 
with Alex, and we went into the it went into the evening doing this, and we were still going to people's houses, dropping off stuff. And we were down in Bowling Green, and we had just dropped off something at, uh, at someone's house, and uh, we're driving away, and we look, and there's something in the middle of the road, and and and, and we slow down and look. It's a skunk in the middle of this residential road in Bowling Green, and and so we come to a grinding halt. The tail of the skunk starts lifting. I throw the car in reverse, and, and <laughs> we're driving backwards on this on this residential street. Thank God there, there was not another car behind us. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Alex and I were, were attacked by a skunk. Uh, you know, we do anything to serve the ministry of ASFM. Uh, you know, wear tights, uh, fight skunks, uh, walk to transmitters. Yeah, but it sounds like we should never have allowed you to be. We should never have allowed you to be in a car, though, because it sounds like a lot of your problems involved <laughs> being in the car. We, we've got another one. I'm, I'm going to bring this up the, the next time that we chat. And another one in the car. <laughs> Once again, we're talking to Jay Wagner. Um, he was the host of The Underground. He was one of the best party crashers we ever had, but one of the worst drivers in Directionally Challenged. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, now, now um, family in, in West Michigan. And Jay, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it, dude. Oh, glad to do so. Joining us uh, during the latter part of this hour on the phone, we have Jay Wagner. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. All right. I was just like, I'm like, oh, no, did the phone drop again? Because it happened to drop during the song, but we got him back. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jay, you know, we were talking about, you know, we, we hate, we hate to, to tease, but, you know, we kind of have to because it's just, you know, part of it. Um, you and I have been out on some party crashers, and New Bremen comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I know that I think we got either lost on the way back. Was it the way back that we got lost from that one? Yeah, yeah it was on the way back. But the, but the worst part of it wasn't getting lost. It was the fact that we got lost, and it was like, that was before we had dealt with, like, you know, the polar vortex every year and, like, the three feet right. of snow, like, in New York. But it was super, super cold. Like, I can remember, like, you turning like up the heat. It was below. Yeah. And, like, you're turning the heat full blast in your car, but your car not being able to keep up with it because it was so <laughs> cold. And New Bremen coming back to Toledo, you know, that was, what, an hour and a half, two-hour drive? <laughs> Yeah, but I think it turned. I turned. It, yeah, it turned into like a three and a half, four hour. Drive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Were you, were so. you guys ever heard from again? Um, you know, I think they're still out looking for April. <laughs> <laughs> But in all seriousness, man, I mean, we had we had so much fun. And, you know, you, you did a show called The Underground. And maybe for those of our listeners who are, you know, maybe weren't even alive during then. Oh, my goodness. Now we're dating ourselves. Uh, can you explain uh, a real quick what The Underground was? And, and I mean, that's kind of how you, you got involved with Yes FM a little bit, too. Yeah, it's a, I remember I was an all local, and it was on it was on Saturday nights from I think nine to ten, or nine to eleven, something like that. But uh, it, it was all local bands, so yeah. And and you know we played bands that never really amounted to anything, like you know Sanctus Real. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I still I'm still hoping God blesses their ministry. Broken Yoke could go far. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, Broken right. Yoke. Yeah, but uh, you know, and then we played. Bands uh, that that were in the, the footprint. So we had bands from Indiana. We had bands from uh, you know southern 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 Ohio. You had bands out in the Fremont area, um, and it was so amazing to, to see the heart for these of uh, these people that weren't doing it for any other reason than than a love for Jesus Christ. You know, God had blessed them with with some musical talent, and they said, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do this to to, to serve the Lord. And, you know, the nationally signed bands and stuff like that. I mean, they have amazing ministry, but just just to see the hearts of a lot of these local bands. Um, one of the other great things is, is I, I, every now and then I bring them live in studio, and we we talk to them, and and we'd have them you know do an acoustic set live in studio, and it just you know just just to see that you know <laughs> these bands at ten o'clock on a Saturday night just have a heart for Jesus and, and just want to minister it was amazing. So yeah, that that was a great time, and and yeah, you know, you drove in every every uh, Saturday night to do it live, and and uh, I, I wouldn't have changed that for 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 anything. It was amazing. And one of the one of the really cool things, Jay, was the number of local bands that there were. I think because Yes FM was here and we did we were an outlet for local bands there was an amazing number of local bands from from the greater you know this northern northwestern part of Ohio it was staggering yeah. how many bands there were and that they all had such great hearts to serve and and for ministry you know groups like Pawn and I mean there was just a yeah. lot of great bands that came through this area and again a lot of it's because there was a Yes FM there where they got some acclaim they they people got to know who they were 
Right. And Todd, you talked to, you know, they, they had hearts to serve and stuff like that. But all these bands have an amazing heart for Yes FM, too. And, and you know, when we when we put the call out for volunteers and we need volunteers for concerts or, or volunteers for an event that we were doing and stuff, <laughs> some of the first people that stepped up were the, were the, were the, were the, the men and women and the guys, boys and girls, the guys and girls in, in, uh, in these local bands. Yeah. You see them, and they did it because they, they had a love for Yes FM and a passion for Yes FM. And, and to think about you, get that, that, that you're, you're, you're celebrating 25 years, there is absolutely no other reason other than that it isn't an ordained ministry by Jesus Christ Amen. you guys are still on the air. Because Amen. They, I remember you know, going through Sierra Fonds and, 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 and uh, being seriously shy of the goal, and, and, and Todd, you, you being the prayer warrior and, and, and the encourager, you, you never got daunted. You were always undaunted, and you always were the encourager saying, we're going to make this, we're going to make this. And 25 years later, Yes, FM is still on the air, and, and, and in the world's eyes, in the secular eyes, and, and, and that should not be the case. That's but right. uh, the, the fact that God has anointed the ministry of Yes, FM, <laughs> that's the only reason that, that, that you guys are still on the air. That is a true statement. That's that's very true, Jay. And we're very thankful to Jesus Christ, and He gets all the all the glory for all the things. And and that's the other amazing thing is how many things have taken place that Jesus has done through this ministry that we can never recount. It doesn't matter how many people we get on the air like yourself to talk about it. We'll never know the millions of moments that Jesus did something in someone's life just because He had this ministry here, Yes FM, and He had people. Absolutely. He had people like you. Yeah, you know, they could work through. So we appreciate you very much. Hey, Jay. Uh, you're appreciated, too. April. Jay, okay, so we got a text in um, from Lori, okay, and you know which Lori we're talking about, okay? Oh, my gosh. Yes, I do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it says, hello, Jay. So many memories at share on with you. <laughs> One was when you had Randy Gomer give your dog obedience training, and he came in to give his pledge, and you had told him that your dog was probably on the couch right now, and he said he better not be. I trained him not to get on the furniture. LOL. And I'm thinking, was it Eli? <laughs> It was Eli. Yes, your dog Eli. <laughs> yeah, and, and the funny thing is, I would leave I would leave the radio on uh, the SFM when I wasn't home, and uh, I was still a single guy at the time, so it was just me and Eli. <laughs> and so I know that he was listening, and I made the comment that, that yeah, Eli get off the couch, and Randy was there, and he looked at me and goes, "That's dog better not be on the couch." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so much fun. Jay, man, we so appreciate you hanging out with us. And we're just super excited about what God has been doing in your life. I mean, you and Kara and now Miss Lucy and oh, my hair. Oh, my gosh, that girl's got hair. Oh, <laughs> uh, Yeah, luckily. Believe it or not, I, you know, before before I started shaving the head and God took the other half, uh, <laughs> I, I had blonde hair. So she got, she got, she I got think she hair got your hair. Day. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm hoping she didn't get my hair when I was in my 30s, because that's when I yeah, started, started losing it. It doesn't look as good on a guy as it does on a girl. But, uh, you know, just real quick, we talked about the impact that YesFM sure. had. You know, early on in my walk, YesFM, I, I remember... I wasn't a Christian. I found this new radio station that had come on the air. I'm listening to it. Like, oh, they're talking about Jesus. Like, oh, I just replaced Jesus with God, you know, not having a concept of that they're the same, <laughs> the same they're one and the same. And I listened to SFM for probably a year, and my heart got softened and softened and softened. So even even my story was impacted by SFM that early on in my walk that, you know, Jesus spoke to me through the, through the honor personalities and through the music and, and, and through everything SFM did. And, and I know 25 years later, you guys continue to do that. And, you know, you've got some long-term people there with with, with Alice and, and 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 Jeff and Todd still involved and Vonda still involved and April still there and and yeah. You, once you're part of the SFM, you're always part of the SFM. Yeah, that's right. right. Whether you leave and God leaves you, leaves you somewhere else, but once you're a listener of the SFM, you, you can't help but have an appreciation for the ministry of the SFM. Good word. Excellent, Jay. Can I ask you a huge favor? Absolutely. Uh, would you mind praying us out today and and just praying over Sherathon and our listeners? Absolutely. Thank you for asking. So, Father God, thank you so much for this ministry of the SFM that you have blessed and anointed for 25 years. Thank you for those that give up their time and their talents and are involved in the ministry, whether they're staff at SFM or they uh, are volunteers or listeners or, or, or definitely for the people that support SFM with, with their dollars, Lord. Thank you so much. You put your head to protection around this radio station as you have done for 25 years. Just bless it with your abundance 
as they sow seeds in your field, Lord. We just lift us up in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank mm-hmm. you so much, Jay. We so appreciate it. Uh, you uh, hanging out with us, and, and we love you, and uh, just wish uh, all God's best for you as uh, you celebrate another year of life. So happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> and, Thank uh, you. And, and keep doing the good work, dude. All right. We love you guys. And love we you, brother. You terribly. God bless. Love yeah. you, brother. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Once again, Jay Wagner of Yesteryear of Yes FM.